What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about something special. I know I don't typically do these type of videos, but everyone's talking about it, so I really want to um, cover this. So, you can already tell by the title of this video and this article, it's about Roblox. Um, they just IPO'd, and in this video, I'm going to you know give my thoughts on it, and what I think, personally, what I'm going to do, and what you guys could potentially do. Now, Roblox, they were initially, originally reported to go around $45 for the IPO. However, you probably were watching Roblox and they opened up right at $70. Now this article is talking about they saw it at $64 and that's valuation is about $42 billion. But right now it's currently around that $70 mark. So what I'm looking at for Roblox is personally for it the hype right now to die down. Now Roblox is a good company. Their business is rapidly growing, as this article says. So we can take a look at their numbers. So Roblox posted revenue of 925 million last year, up 82 percent from 2019. The company also said er earlier this month that now expects sales to rise about another 60 percent this year to range of 1.44 billion to 1.52 billion. They have 32.6 million daily active users at the end of 2020, and the company is predicting that it will have 34.6 by the end of 2021. Now, a huge rush came to Roblox because of the pandemic. A lot, just with a lot of things, people started. They were home more, so they were obviously playing games. They were on their technology. That's why we saw a huge amount of sales. You know, with Microsoft, Apple, AMD, all these chips. A lot more people were home. More people were had more time at home. And Roblox, the gaming industry, also rapidly saw growth. Now, Roblox is saying that they are going to continue this growth, which I believe they will. I believe they will. And then we'll have to see how this is affected by the stock price. But typically, I, I'm a technical analysis person, so fundamentals and technical analysis, they don't really go hand in hand. Sometimes they do, but we're going to take a look at the stock price right now. But we can basically only look at fundamentals because there's not a lot to go off of, and you're about to see why. But other than that, I just wanted to cover that Roblox, you know, they IPO'd and that they actually doubled what they were originally thinking that the IPO was going to be at. So you can probably see, you're like, hey, what's this? This looks weird. Well, this is what a stock looks like when it just IPO'd. You only have the initial data right here. So I'm on the four hours, so it's not even been four hours since it's been out. And then we're actually going to go to the 15 minute time frame because it doesn't make sense to look at this from the four hour because it, it just IPO'd. So we IPO'd, if you look at this right here, this price right here we IPO'd at was literally at $70. Now it was predicted to IPO at 45. So basically double what it was predicted to do. And then it hit lows of 60 to $61. Now typically guys, from my experience, there's been a lot of stocks have just been IPOing. There honestly has been a lot. And what happens is yes, the first day is normally hype, the first day is amazing. It just pumps up, pumps up. But what typically you see, guys, is that the next coming days, and I'm not saying this is going to happen for Roblox, but what you see is it just falls off a cliff. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen with Roblox right now. I'm not saying that, guys, but that's why I'm waiting. I didn't get in the hype. and This may have been a good dip by right here. Maybe we just moon tomorrow. But with my experience and what I've been seeing, is personally after that first day it just it just falls down because if you take a look at DoorDash we'll do that as well dash we'll go to the four hour to look at when it IPO you take a look at it right here look what happened guys we pumped up we opened up down here at 163 we pumped all the way up to 195 that same day and then what did we do over the span of several days we just basically hit the floor and now we're back at that so that's why I'm warning you guys if you're taking a position in a dash or not dash roblox just be careful because this is typically what happens after stock ipos the hype is there the first day or two and then after that we die down and then we just pretty much fall to the floor then it pops up again basically what dash is doing so i think roblox is going to do the same thing every stock isn't the same when it ipos but if i was betting money on it that's what i would think and i'd be patient with it and I would just be careful. You can already see, guys, right now on the 15-minute time frame, we're kind of in a downtrend right now. Now, based off of technical analysis, we do not have that much to go off of. But if you want to chart out this area right here, 
this area around 69 79 around 70 dollars that's our area of interest because on these three wicks right here we tagged it tagged it and we ipo'd right here so that's that first level but i would take this level with a grain of salt because we just ipo'd and we don't have too much to go off of we are getting rejected right here right now but like i said literally just ipo'd so this data right here does not mean anything at all so my closing advice to you guys is i would personally this is my personal opinion i would wait let it play out the next couple of days don't fomo into this if you do if you do have to fomo into it take a small position knowing that it could just potentially tank now it was originally going to ipo at 45 dollars. so guess where i'm gonna put my buy order around i want this thing around fifty dollars or right up here at 55 so i want it in between here you might call me crazy for thinking it's gonna get this low but i honestly see it do hitting that low just based off of how other stocks have ipo'd now it may take a couple of days it may not do it tomorrow we may have a rocking day tomorrow but this is where i'm gonna be a buyer at just based off of where it was originally set to ipo at either way guys i hope you did enjoy this special video haven't done a video like this. If you enjoy me covering IPOs, in my opinion, let me know in the comments below. I know we have a couple more coming out, and I'll be more than happy to cover those for you guys. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video.